Good morning, good morning, good morning, collective. Um, I just did a spread called the Star Sea Oracle. These are the beautiful cards. You can barely see them. Okay. So this reading um, is for Virgo and Libra Cusp. If you're a Cusper, you already know what the dates are. Um, I got double mission and basically you have more than one mission on this earth. You're a light worker, star seed, and you need to serve the world by being you. Looking at this card intuitively, like you definitely are not from this planet and You have the whole world in your hands. Your mind is a beautiful place. So hopefully you know what your purpose is. If not, you need to go inward and meditate to find what that purpose is. Okay. And then you also got karmic relationships. And that's the Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, and conflict. So, you know, com uh, karmic relationships, those are not the relationships that you want to strive to be in. You want to strive to be in soulmate relationships. And even sometimes any relationship can get kind of karmic -y. Um, Basically, when you say karmic relationship, you're talking about kind of toxic. Not good for your spiritual growth, not good for your mental growth, not good for your overall growth, period. So... If possible, you want to try not to be in those. If you are, you want to take the lessons that you learn from it and move on. Don't stay too long. You see how these people are Earth's apart. One is on one is on this planet. One is on that planet. Let me not even call it both Earth because yeah, they really look like visually look the same, but. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, also, new earth. You got new earth. And it says it's happening. Keep holding the vision. Okay? So, with a lot of stuff that's going on with all these natural disasters and um, the OGs, keep saying that the cycle re repeats itself and it does um, with that being said um, earth is changing earth is changing uh, the climates are changing the people we are changing overall earth is changing the atmosphere so you want to stay keep hold of the vision that you were given okay and so I'm going to read what it says for each one. And the double mission is, don't forget this is for Libra. This is for Virgo, Virgo Libra Cusp. Okay, so it says light worker star seed. This is for this one. Serve the world by being you. Light worker star seed. Our mission and purpose oriented. Many have the feeling that time's running out and there's something they came here to do create and contribute. They're here to grow as souls individually, individual mission, and also to contribute to the planet in some action oriented way. Collective mission. Their collective mission is often answered through a career calling or by devoting their life to something bigger. Until they remember their collective mission, it can feel as if something's missing or that they're forgetting something important. It's common for light worker star seeds to feel they're different and they may carry soul memories of being visible or sharing their voice. As such, 
They may protect themselves by dimming their light in order to fit in or spending time in some sort of closet, such as a spiritual closet. If you pull this card, you're being called to remember your collective mission and step into even more fully, into it even more fully. You're being reminded that your role as a light worker is to light up the world with your presence. This doesn't have to be a great big thing or a decision you need to make. You also don't need to have a great big plan. If you resonate with being a light worker, all you need to do is work out what lights you up, your passions and joys, and keep doing that. When you trust and follow that simple path of things that light you up and then lose yourself in doing it, you will light up the world without even trying. And your inquiry today is, how can you serve the world by being you? Um, yeah, you're a force just by yourself. If that's encouraging, um, the word is be yourself and everything will fall into place. It's so important to be yourself. Okay, so karmic relationships. Um, it says, the constellation Orion is thought by many to have been a place of great polarity and e eventual unity. Some believe that many star seeds who were part of this cosmic history are incarnated on Earth now and are playing out karmic relationships from Orion times. Perhaps you're one of them. Polarity causes conflict and highlights separation. However, because of this, conflict can also result in unity and growth. Too many misunderstandings are caused when we don't open our heart and mind and see things from a different point of view. When we go into reactive second guessing mode instead of gathering the courage to open our heart, we should admit that we may have reacted because of our own woundings and then find mutual ground. We're all innocent children looking to be seen, understood, and cherished. It's much harder to grow closer through conflict than it is to grow further apart. Okay? And yet, that's the invitation to conflict. It's easy to react and take things personally it's more challenging to see the innocence of all involved and find a way to grow closer through the conflict. It's through relationships that we grow the most. How can you soften your heart and drop your defense enough to see things from a different point of view? How can you see the innocence of all involved? How can you learn to see the similarities rather than, rather than the differences? The Star Seed Soul Inquiry, which relationships do you find the most challenging? How can you see things from a different perspective? How can, how are you being called to allow growth through the conflict? <laughs> Is this triggering? Is this triggering to you? <laughs> it's not easy to see conflict. Um, the diff the other side of the conflict um especially when your mouths apart there's differences um you feel like you're from two different planets and when you're from two different you feel like you're from two different planets it's like well over here we do this and over here we do that and it's hard to put yourself in the other planet in the other person's shoes I think this is also with long distance relationships and then also with dealing with someone from uh, different customs. Um, at some point you have to move closer. It doesn't necessarily have to be physically, but you have to bridge that gap between um, the two cultures and two, between the two perspectives in order for you to move closer in relationship. 
Otherwise, you'll continue to be separate. You'll continue to be miles apart. Okay, a new earth. Do, 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 do. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. Don't give up now. You're closer than you think. I know it's hard to hold the frequency of a new age when it feels as if so much is crumbling and so many are losing faith. This is your sign that you are facing the right direction. You have a great gift in being able to see the potential of things before they exist. Tend to the new seeds. Dream them into existence. Don't lose faith now. Keep your focus fixed. Planting new seeds and bringing about a shift of the ages is no mean feat. It requires extreme trust and radical vision. If you pull this card, it's a reminder to have faith. You choose to be here, to be part of this global shift. Whether you're bringing it about through prayer and meditation or through working on a new project job or creation, keep going. It's happening. Don't give up now. The world needs more dreamers like you, more people to hope, more people with hope in their hearts. The road ahead may not be plain sailing. Ushering in a new age in times of change never is. You're being encouraged to remember that what you've been working toward for so long is almost here. Don't question yourself now, don't waver. Dig your devotion deep. For if you do, excuse me, confirmation. For if you do, in the not too distant future, you'll be able to sit back and watch all that you so carefully, carefully planted and nurtured grow and bloom. It's possible Keep focusing on your dreams. You're closer than you think. The soul inquiry is, how can you keep holding the vision? Well, in adversity, sometimes it can be hard to keep holding the vision. But as long as you remain focused and sometimes you get off track, you go back to being focused. And you hear what it said, prayer and meditation will help you keep your focus. All right, y'all, that's the end of the reading for Virgo and Libra Cusp. Hope this resonated with you. If it didn't, leave the reading where it is. Um, every reading is not for everyone. I am an intuitive reader, and if no one told you that they love you today, I'm telling you that I love you. Have a blessed one.